Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday morning. Goodness, almost here, guys. Friday is morning. almost right around the corner. Goodness, almost here, guys. Friday is morning. almost right around the corner. Hold on a second. Let me turn up my computer here. Anyway, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, we go daily, pretty much daily, around between 8 and 8.30. They used to be right on 8, but lately it's about 8 or 8.30. Every morning we do live streaming at, uh, so far it's been my shop, okay? I have a little computer shop in Tucson and I convert that to kind of like Coffee Cave, okay? I think officially this is a Coffee Cave now. Over the last couple of months, trying to come up with a fun name for this place, like Coffee Dungeon. And I think Coffee Cave is, I think that's better, okay? It's not, definitely not Coffee Studio. Okay, so this morning we are going to have some fun, okay? I don't know how many of you out there Whatever you guys have some leftover coffee, you cannot exactly, you know, make good cup of coffee, you know, good portion of the coffee. What do you guys do? Okay. So this morning I'm going to, so I have a, quite a few coffees here. Goodness. I have leftover Ethiopia. I got some more coffee because I know, I mean, you guys throw these coffees away or you guys actually blend it. So this morning I'm going to blend it. Uh, I'm gonna mix and match with my other coffee. So, so I got some. I I don't know what this is. Okay, I think could be a Guatemala. And I got some more coffee here. Smells like Ethiopia as well. Let's see here. I mean, this one I've been sitting saving down for last couple months. So, and I got some leftover red bricks from uh, Square Mile. See, I got leftover the mirror coffee. So this is a Jorge Mendez. So, and this is actually one of our friend Joy uh, sent me his his own blend as well. You know what? So this one is has a good portion of it. So I'm not gonna blend this one, but let's you know what? Uh, let's blend some coffees, okay? And then after that, let's pull the shot and see what kind of coffee we're gonna get out of it, okay. So this is like mystery coffee, so I don't know what that is. I'm gonna, let's add some Ethiopia, okay. Right, right there. Okay, and then Let's mix that with uh, red bricks from uh, Square Mile, okay. All right. And then I got uh, Jorge Mendez from Mirror Coffee. All right, I think we are good, okay. So we got the mix between Mira Coffee, this is Guatemala, Ethiopia. We got Red Bricks. Uh, red Bricks, uh, let's see here. Let's see what he say right there, 50% Nicaragua, is it Nicaragua? Guatemala and 50% Costa Rica. Yeah, it's gonna be a good blend. Okay, so let's, so what I'm going to do is let's blend that thing. Okay, let's blend the coffee and see what we're going to get out of it. I'm just going to blend it. So now we have about a good, about a good nine ounce of coffee here. Yeah. So let's see here. You know what? I I want to be just make sure. I I want to blend this properly. Okay. I'm just gonna blend it. You know what, guys? Let's pull the shot. Okay. 
Let's pull the shot here. We're going to do an 18 gram shot. Uh, comes to goodness. The thing about the grinder setting, I have no clue. Okay. I'm just going to set. Okay, so let's do 18 gram. 18.3. I mean, if you don't have a scale, I highly recommend it. 17.9 gram. I highly recommend you guys going to get one. Okay. Doesn't matter what kind of scale that is. Let's make any difference. Okay. So right now I'm set grinder setting at number seven. Okay. On my DF64 grinder. So this is the flapper. So we put 18 gram in, it's just on you know, about 70.9. So we lost about <clears throat> 0.2 gram there. So it's not too bad. I mean, it works pretty good, okay, I have to say. Uh, if you are looking for single dose coffee grinder, obviously we have the niche, but, and then we have the DF64. And if you guys want to spend some extra money we got the option O is also a great option. I'm just gonna heat up the puck screen. That's what we're gonna use this morning. Okay, let's prepare the shot here. Okay, I'm going to be using, using my puck screen. Do the WDT. Always help. I'm just going to do some quick distribution here. Give it a good temp. Okay. So this is the 18 gram. You see there are a lot of space between, but we'll see. Okay. Put the puck screen on the top. You know what, let's pull the shot. Okay. Let's find out. Okay, let's talk about the current setting here. Right now we're at about brew temperature at 207. Uh, boy, uh, steam temperature at 261, so I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about the brew temperature at 207. Okay. And then, let's see. The shot looks pretty good so far. I'm trying to shoot for uh, about 36 to 40 gram there. Okay, about 30 seconds. It's not bad looking. Okay, let's try the shot. I'm actually excited to try that shot there. Okay. Let's find out what kind of flavor note we're going to get. Okay, so let's take a look. All right. So this is a blend of kind of so about four different type of coffee beans. Okay. If you are just joining us right now, 
uh, we blended, I blended uh, na uh, naturally processed Ethiopia, Miro coffee from Guatemala as well, and red bricks, okay, and another one, a mystery one. And I mean, it looks, so shot was, looks pretty good. And then we all blend in, in the, this big container. Okay, let's see here. I'm just gonna mix it well. Cheers. Man. Yeah, it's hard to say, guys. Definitely lack of texture and body okay yeah it's definitely missing missing something goodness uh, you know what uh, let's put one more time okay let's put one more shot there instead of using 18 gram i'm gonna bump it up to 19 okay uh okay so let's do 19 gram let's see what else Yeah, it's definitely lack of texture. Yes, it is old. It's not too old. It's about a month old. Okay, but okay, let's so let's do one more time. Uh, so let's do 19 gram. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty good. Okay, compared to you know any other espresso out there, it's good. So uh, comes the grinder setting. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna be slightly okay. I'm going to uh, make slightly finer, tiny bit, tiny bit. So right now I'm at number six now. Okay, I'm at number six. And then I'm going to be doing longer pre-infusion as well. Okay, I'm going to do a little uh, longer pre-infusion, 19 gram. Okay, so let's try that one more time. So let's make this thing work. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try one more. A seven, uh, 18.79, 19.03. Okay, that's good. I mean, this is why I like having the puck screen. Having dry puck every single time. Okay. I got 19 gram here. So let's check it. So now I have 19.1 gram, okay, which means I got the uh, whatever little leftover from last round, so it'd be fine. I don't think, you can, I don't know, I mean, doesn't matter what you do, you have that little bit left over, okay. Okay, this time I'm going to do WDT. Okay. Let's just make sure I'm going to do it well. And then followed by uh, this puck rake, okay. The puck rake does kind of like, you know, manicure your puck, express the puck there. Just nice and flat. So now we have nice and flat to temp. I'm just going to do a quick distribution. Give it a quick temp. 
I'm just gonna wash my puck screen. All right. So let's do that one more time. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do this time. We're gonna go longer pre infusion. I'm thinking at least 10 seconds. Okay. At least 10 seconds. Set it there. There we go. I'm just gonna at least 10 seconds for pre infusion. See what kind of taste we're gonna get. You know, let's go even longer. Why not? Okay, nothing there right now. 21 seconds, that's okay. Yeah, you guys can see that litter coming out there. So that's my sign. I'm just gonna pull it. So 35 second pre infusion. Shot looks pretty good. Hope it come together. There we go. Little channeling, but it's not too bad. I'm trying for shooting for around 40 gram. Okay, so that's about 30 second shot. Okay, so 30 second means it's just the when uh, pump is running. And the total of a minute for this shot there. So think about that this coffee machine is a Vetrano. Uh, valve here, if you're gonna lift about halfway up, uh, they give you like pre-infusion, okay? To use the, the boiler pressure to, you know, very gentle flow of water. All right, so. So last shot was somewhat flat, okay? Smells really good as well. So we increased the dosing amount to 19 instead of 18. Longer pre-infusion, 30 seconds long. Do I get an even better shot than last time? But uh, Mike thinks that I'm hopeful, but don't think this will help much. Okay. Mike thinks that this might be helpless. Cheers. Okay. Mike, you are wrong about that. Okay, Mike, this is fantastic. It has a lot more texture and body to it. More balanced as well. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, I have to say, uh, it's good, but it's not as good as Onyx. Okay, I, I, you know something about Onyx. I have to say, I think those guys know how to the blend their coffee right. Man, uh, that coffee was somewhat memorable uh, last. I think what we dialed in in what last week or so, last weekend. Uh, comes to tasting notes. Okay, hold on. So let me give you guys tasting notes. I'm just gonna wash wash it up with my water. Okay, here we go. Tasting notes. I have definitely a lemon. Okay, so lemon, very acidic. I see like raspberry taste to it. Uh, I don't know about nutty though. Pretty much it, okay? The, the fact is I, so this is the older coffee as well. So it's not, you know, it's not, it's not optimal. But uh, when I try the Onyx, by the way, if anybody from Onyx watching this, most likely not, okay? But just in case, uh, make sure, you know, send me some coffee beans, okay? I, I do love to, you know, I would love to try their other blend. The fact is, okay, so here, the fact is, I mean, they're, uh, they're amazing coffee beans, but how many of you out there, you know, just spend 
like 20 25 dollars for like 10 ounce okay i don't know i mean i mean i'm not sure about that goodness because i mean most of us you know like you know mo most of us i mean we buy you know we buy from coffee shops or you know we spend what 15 to 20 dollars for between 12 and 16 ounce i mean if you go to most coffee shops they give you 12 ounce uh, if you go to some roasters, they, they actually give you a pound, okay, that's 16, uh, 16 uh, ounce for, you know, about 20 bucks. But if you go to this fancy roaster like Onyx or, you know, other coffee roasters, they sell you like 10 ounce for 20 bucks. So, I mean, it's not affordable, let's put it that way. It's just like drinking wine, right? I mean, if you go to Trader Joe's, uh, you can get a, their a house wine for $3, okay? And then, but I mean, if you want to drink some good wine, you are looking at 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So, I mean, roaster like Onyx, that's kind of like treat. I think I do that once in a while. But I mean, my daily, you know, coffee, beans, you know, obviously, you know, I'm looking for the coupon codes. I'm looking for the on sales, but I want to get a good coffee though. You know, like uh, roaster like, you know, bring from Good Brothers Coffee. I mean, I have coupon codes for you guys as well. Make sure to check it out. Uh, also, like Battleborn Coffee as well. Even Mira Coffee here, the mark from Mira Coffee. I think I, had, I do have their coupon code as well. So I'm going to put all this uh, coupon code down below. But unfortunately, I don't have coupon code for Onyx. But I don't think, I mean, the fact is they don't need, okay, a uh, coupon because I think whenever they put out some of, some of their batch, that sold out, you know, within a few days anyway. So, again, but I mean, I mean, if you guys want to try something new, okay, I highly recommend, okay, I highly recommend, you know, kind of like branch out, okay, so if, uh, especially if you guys are into espresso. Pour over, make a big difference, but man, uh, comes to uh, espresso, try different coffee beans. Uh, definitely try, try uh, different coffee beans. So, Anyway, uh, Kelly asked, is there a code for San Anthony industry? No, there is none, okay? I'm, I'm working on it for the holidays coming up, okay? Uh, holidays coming up there, so let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, if you're, again, just make sure to press like on the video, okay? And if you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure to do so. I got plenty of content coming up. Uh, Lilet Bianca is coming, okay? So Lilet Bianca is coming hopefully next couple of weeks or so. So we're going to be comparing with uh, Quick Meal and Bianca and also for fun, uh, we are going to uh, compare that with the Express as well, Bravo Brisa Express, just for fun, okay? Because why not, right? Anyway, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Instagram uh, right now and then uh, we're going to continue chatting, okay? I'm going to see you guys on Instagram.